One thing I'll note, uh, Jeff, that should be done in any case, either way, if it's very accurate generation or not, there should still be some review process in place because, as we know, like these things can still hallucinate. And um, yeah, you know, it happens. You mean they don't give you the perfect answer every time, Tariq? Is that what you're they saying? They, they don't even give you a real answer. They, they give you an imaginary answer. It's like imaginary numbers all over again, right? But very convincing so. sometimes too, right? Like with certainty, they will tell you something that you know by looking at it is wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. wrong. Very much so. My wife will probably uh, say the same thing about when I argue with her on certain topics. <laughs> yeah, I was so. going to say. Sounds like yeah. what husbands deal with all the time, right? <laughs> Spouses, we'll see. It's, it's, it's a common thing. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a great point, though, that we want to make sure the audience hears loud and clear and that your organizations understand. And there's lots of people echoing this, which should be is this is not a silver bullet, and this is not removing humans from the loop mm -hmm. um, because these models do some pretty incredible things. They can produce some pretty – incredible tests and other things I've seen to your point, Tariq, a very nice test suites created. But if you look at it, there's always some things that aren't right or that yeah. aren't accurate. And that means you have to review closely what comes out. If you just blindly, you know, put prompts into a, a, a you know generative AI system and it spits something out, you just take it and ship it you're going to find out that's a very bad strategy. 